What do you need to do to get an entry level cybersecurity role? Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and I am really excited to talk about today's video. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about some of the things that you should know about an entry-level cybersecurity role and hopefully some of these things that we talk about help you. There are definitely more things that we could probably mention in this video, but we can't fit everything into it. So if you guys have any other comments, suggestions, or other things that you think people should know in regards to entry-level cybersecurity roles, please leave a comment below and help everybody else out because I greatly appreciate that and the viewers here will also appreciate that as well. So to start things off, we're gonna talk about some of the different roles that you could find in entry-level cybersecurity. There's information security specialist, there's a cybersecurity specialist, there's IT specialist information security, there's IT security specialist, there's information technology specialist, information security, there's IT auditor, there's incident analyst, and there's much more. And the thing that I want to really specify about this section right here is that IT job roles, specifically their titles, are very skewed. You might see that an information security specialist could vary from business to business, but some businesses might call an information security specialist an information technology specialist, a security specialist, and they all could be the same exact thing but different businesses will definitely try to take their own take on what they want to call a specific job title with that being said these are some of the potential job roles that you could see in a entry-level cybersecurity job as you're looking into the entry-level cybersecurity roles you need to pay attention to what your current status is do you have a degree is it in cybersecurity or is it in general IT do you have a degree that is in no relation at all all to IT. Do you have any certifications in IT? Are they specific to cybersecurity? Do you have any experience at all in IT? Any prior roles that have any type of security influence at all? Now we're gonna go into a little bit more detail about each of these things that we just mentioned. With a cybersecurity degree, it is going to be much easier for you to land a role in cybersecurity. You'll find as you're going out and you're looking for some of these entry-level roles that a lot of them require you have a degree. And a lot of them might even require that you have a degree specifically set in cybersecurity. It is much easier to land a role with a cybersecurity degree. Not saying that you can't land a role with certifications or experience because you definitely can. I'm just saying out of the three things that we listed, a degree, certification, or experience, having a degree might be the easiest way to make your way into a cybersecurity role. You may also find it much easier just having a degree in general because a lot of different jobs out there do require you have a degree. Now keep in mind there are plenty of jobs out there that do not require you have a degree. Cybersecurity certifications. There are many roles in cybersecurity that will actually require you have a specific certification. Even if you have a degree, even if you have experience, one of the job requirements might be that you have to have a Security Plus, for instance. The United States government requires that you have a Security Plus just to get into their IT department. So keep that in mind as you're looking through some of these different roles that certifications could definitely be a requirement. Some of the most requested cybersecurity certifications are as follows. The GIAC, which is the Global Information Assurance Certification. The CISA, the Certified Information Systems Auditor. The Security Plus, which is from CompTIA. The Pentest Plus, which is from CompTIA. The CISA, which is also from CompTIA, that's the Cybersecurity Analyst Certification. And the CEH, which is the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. Those are some of the more required certifications, especially at entry level, that you should definitely look into and consider getting. Cybersecurity experience. You could be working in the information technology field and maybe you have your hands in different security type of roles or duties and you could definitely use that towards your advantage for experience in getting in a entry level cybersecurity role. Experience in infrastructure and development can definitely be really helpful for you, but also just specializing in more of the infrastructure side or development side is okay as well. Some of the things to keep in mind if you are only building your career based off of experience to get an entry level role, it might be a lot easier if you have three to five years of experience in either your IT infrastructure side or the development side of things. So if you're a programmer, app developer, things like that. Having that three to five year experience is definitely going to be very helpful for you because it shows that you have some fundamental knowledge of how an environment works for one and also different experience with the technologies that you are currently working on. And of course, I could not make this video without saying it's not what you know, it's who you know. 
alone. You could have no experience, no degrees, and no certifications, and you may know somebody who could just get you in a cybersecurity role. That definitely happens. It's not unheard of. How likely that is, I wouldn't say that's very likely, but the more connections that you can make in the cybersecurity field, the more it will help you in that who you know aspect. A couple things that you can do to increase your exposure is go to different cybersecurity meetups in your area and also start connecting with people on LinkedIn and things like that so you can get yourself known and have a presence. Here are a few key concepts and methodologies that you should definitely pay attention to, understand, and consider if this is the role that you are looking to take. Critical thinking and multitasking. If you can think like the enemy and also at that same time manage multiple tasks, that is definitely going to be something that's very beneficial to you. Question everything. How does technology work? How can I make a specific technology or application work in a way that it's not supposed to? You're thinking like the enemy and you're questioning how you can make something be exploited, be hacked, and now you have to think of ways that you can prevent that. The biggest thing that I could say about critical thinking and questioning everything is thinking outside of the box. That is extremely important in a cybersecurity role. You need to think outside of that box so you can think about all the different possibilities that could possibly happen with the specific technologies that you're working on. Analysis, discovery, and solution. Analyze and understand technologies, policies, applications, and even your users. Discover vulnerabilities, exploits, and weaknesses in infrastructure, applications, and users as well. Determine the best course of action to reach a solution. From analysis and discovery, implement a solution to fix issues within the environment. So with all of that being said, it, you're really kind of starting from that very bottom level of maybe a security issue and working your way entirely through it. So being able to analyze your end users, for instance, you're learning their habits, you're learning what they're doing, and maybe you're finding something that they're doing out of the ordinary. That could be because something may be compromised, maybe their credentials were stolen and things like that. Also, maybe you're sending out phishing emails, so you're trying to understand what your users do and do not understand about clicking on emails and things like that. So these are just some of the things to keep in mind. Some key technologies that you should definitely know if you're looking to get into security are Linux. You should definitely have a good fundamental knowledge of how Linux works. So get yourself familiar with that because it is utilized very often in cybersecurity. The next thing is networking. You can just have the basic concepts of how networking works, but knowing what the OSI model is, for instance, and knowing how things are passed through the network is definitely going to be very helpful for you. So just look into the basic concepts of networking and have a good fundamental knowledge of how that works. The last part, which is definitely the most important part of learning security and becoming more proficient in it, is scripting, or you could say programming and things like that. Having knowledge of things like PowerShell and Python and Bash and other programming languages like JavaScript, uh, C, C Sharp, and PHP, HP as well. Those are things that can be definitely very beneficial towards you in going down your cybersecurity path. Now, you don't have to be an expert necessarily in any of these scripting languages, but definitely having that fundamental knowledge of how some of these things work is going to help you greatly. If I were to suggest any of these be the first thing that you absolutely learn, I would say learn Python. And the reason for that is, is because it is cross-platform. You can use Python on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux as well. So make sure you look into that and get that knowledge. So here are some things that you should definitely pay attention to. You don't necessarily have to be an expert in any of these. You don't necessarily have to go out and learn every single fundamental about these different technologies. But IoT is definitely something you should know about. That's the internet of things, those different devices like Alexa's, your smart fridge and things like that. They're primarily run off of Linux, but having a good fundamental knowledge of how these different types of IoT devices can be hacked or can be modified in some way, the different things that you can do with those is crazy. So make sure that you pay attention to different IoT devices, technologies, and news that are coming out about the IoT devices as well. The next thing is the cloud. The cloud is one of the biggest things that everybody always talks about nowadays, but it is something that is very, very important to know about. So the AWS, Google Cloud Platform, and also Azure. Having a good knowledge of how some of these systems work can help you. You don't necessarily have to be an expert, like I said, but make sure you at least look into it and pay attention to things that are happening within those different 
technologies. Another thing to kind of pay attention to is uh, encryption. There are a lot of things happening with encryption lately and making sure you just have that fundamental knowledge of how different encryption works. So whether that's web-based encryption or device-based encryption, you should at least know how some of that works, but definitely pay attention to different technologies and news that are coming out about that as well. And the last thing to pay attention to, which is definitely just as important as all the rest, is deep learning, whether that is artificial intelligence or machine learning. These are things that are really becoming more and more popular and utilized more often. It's technologies that are really growing. These types of technologies definitely try to understand different behaviors and learn what users and systems are doing and things like that. It's very, very important to just at least pay attention to. So we kind of covered the key concepts. We talked about a few different job roles. We talked about things that you should know. What about the salaries? What are the entry level cybersecurity salaries like? The average pay in the United States for a cybersecurity role at entry level is varied. It's really kind of skewed how this works. Generally, based on the research that I've done, it could be anywhere from like $67,000 a year up to $90,000 plus a year. Now, don't take that as that is the most accurate information because of the fact that your salary is going to be completely dependent on where your job location is at, so what state, what city, and what the business actually wants to pay. Just because this could be the, the median in cybersecurity entry-level roles does not mean that when you go and you move to Washington State, for instance, in the middle of nowhere, that they are gonna pay you $67,000 a year at an entry-level cybersecurity role. They could pay you $40,000 a year. It really depends on that location and what the business actually wants to pay you. But for an average, this is pretty much accurate between that $67,000 and $90,000 a year. So that's a really good range in salary, especially at the entry level. You know, once you get a few years of experience, you can definitely work your way up to that $90,000 plus a year. So in this video, I covered some of the basics, key concepts, and things that you should just know about these entry-level cybersecurity roles. Definitely look into each one of these things, like the certifications, the degrees, uh, the key methodologies that we talked about. These are things that you definitely want to know and be aware of and try to get as much experience and knowledge in if you're looking to get into cybersecurity. In future videos, we will dive deeper into specific job roles and their duties in cybersecurity. But if you're looking for that entry-level role, I think we gave you a really good understanding of what different businesses are looking for and the things that you need to be aware of. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. And as we stated earlier in this video, if there's something that I missed that you feel like people should know, please leave a comment and give your advice because I greatly appreciate that. Stay tuned for the next videos. And if you guys have anything else that you really wanna see, make sure you leave a comment for that as well. That's all I got for you guys today. So as always, take it easy.